I am Jade. Hello, I am Jade the Etsy Rose, and welcome back to Rendell's Story. Chapter 4. I know that voice. A familiar voice calls my name. I turn around, and standing there is... I thought that was you, uh, Yumi now. Shiroya! Shiroya was supposed to be back in the summer village with Kito. He sees my face and smiles. What's going on? Why are you here? I don't think I would run into... I don't think I would run into him in the winter village. The summer village chieftain asked me to take care of some things here. Oh, I never imagined I'd see you here in the Winter Village. Me neither. Well, I was hoping to run into you at least, though. So, how's the journey? Is it going well? Yeah, right on schedule. I nod and tell him that the purification in the village, in the Spring Village, went well. So, are you going to purify the symbol in the Winter Village tomorrow, then? Yeah, I'm not used to the cold. So, Ran and Rinda told me to wait for a day wait for a day to get accustomed to it before heading to the symbol. They did? Well, I'm glad to hear your journey is going well. Someone contacted the summer village to inform about your journey, so you don't have to worry about anything. Great! I'm glad that even Shiroya is not traveling with us. He still cares about us. Alright, speaking of contact, hmm? I saw a carrier pigeon a little bit ago. Did you guys send it out? A carrier pigeon? I don't know anything about that, and I don't think anyone else sent it out either. Really? It was a type of pigeon that's, that ninjas use to communicate because they fly faster than normal pigeons. I thought it was definitely yours. A pigeon? Nobody mentions it. I remember seeing a pigeon flying when I found Ren downtown. Was Ren the one who sent it? But if he had to report something, he would have told us. So, you have gotten used to the cold? So, have you gotten used to the cold? Uh, huh? Uh, um, a little bit, I guess. I kept chatting with Shiroya, but my mind was still on that pigeon. But even if it was a pigeon for ninjas, that doesn't mean we don't... Now, Rinda sent it out. Oh, shoot, I'm sorry. Maybe the black tortoise... Maybe the black tortoise school ninjas from the... Winter Village instead. First of all, there's no reason for Randa to keep something secret like to keep something like that a secret. With that in mind, with that thought, I decided not to, I decided not to think about that pigeon anymore. The next morning it was still lightly snowing. It was still lightly snowing, but the weather is otherwise calm. We head out to the upper certainly not as cold as it was in these past few days. Really? Yeah. Even though the overflowing waterfall became impure, there was a lot of snow. There were strong winds and even blizzards sometimes. The village flock the village flock was the village flock was having a hard time. We're having a hard time. Then I guess we have to purify the symbol as, pu as soon as possible, huh? Rinda sets up and smiles and I can't see anything odd in his expression. So if you're thinking things. Rinda doesn't hide him. Doesn't try to hide him. When we get to the sacred mountain, we head into the Akia. We run into we run into Ayakeshi as expected. As we expected. Oh, oh, don't do this to me. I fight alongside the others today, and all goes well without too much effort. By the way, Ran, how are you? Where did you guys go yesterday? We walked around the town. Ran and Kikyo took me to so many places. I tried dessert. I tried a dessert called hot hot spring bun. They were really good. Kato really likes them too. Shiroya came to the village for some errands yesterday, and he said he was going to take a lot of them home. Wow. Even if Ayu says they were good, I'd like to try one. If even Ayu says they're good, I'd like to try one. Me too. Then how about we have some? How about we have some after we finish the purification? As we chat and continue walking, I sigh deeply. Who knew the new roads were this hard to walk on? There were no footprints other than ours in the pure white snow. With each step, the snow sinking, making it hard to walk. Ran walks through it like it's nothing. Hold on, hold on. Trying hard. They're having hard. They're having trouble. 
They're having trouble walking, but at least they keep up with their pace. I need to strengthen my legs. I'm going to ask Kuro Kuro to, uh, to help me train when I get back to you. Whoa! My legs get stuck in the snow, and I almost fell down. Oh! Oh no! As I struggle to free my leg, Rindal comes beside me and grabs my arm. Why are you being so clumsy, Ayumino? Sorry. You don't need to apologize. As he speaks, Rindal pulls me up out of the snow. Thank you. It's fine, I said. Just watch your step. Okay. I can feel my chest tightening, tightening at Rindal's kindness. The snow is pretty deep around here, so it's kind of hard to walk. Here? No, here? Huh? Rindal holds, holds his hand out to me and grins. I'll hold your hand. That way, if you get stuck again, I'll just pull you right up, right back up. Thanks. I take his hand and return him a smile. Oh, I really love him. I love his smile, his kindness, his hands, everything about him. I reaffirm my feeling and squeeze his hand. Not ever wanting to let it go. Wow. If that doesn't look, um, creepy, I don't know what does. Though we encountered Ayakeshi several times on the way, we managed to make it to the ever-flowing waterfall. It looks completely frozen. The tall, massive waterfall is completely frozen. Ryan looks up at the ever-flowing waterfall with a sad expression. Purifications, there is not even a fog left. Because of that, it is natural to assume that the Akiyashis get expelled from the light, get expelled by the light. Hmm. He sounds like he's onto something. Then, does that mean the impurities and the Akiyashis are the same thing? The same thing. If we follow that line of thought, then we might be able to figure out what the impurities really are. Wait a second, guys. Rindal interrupts us. Uh oh. I don't have a good feeling about that. <sighs> we don't have to jump to conclusions right now. We'll have to figure out it eventually if we just... All of a sudden, I'm overcome with a violent dizziness. Her death voice gets faded away. Ayumino? Ayumino! At that point, my conscience... 
just abruptly shuts off. Mm. When I open my eyes, I see an unfamiliar ceiling. Huh? Is this... The Winter Village Chieftain's Mansion? What happened to me? I thought I was at the ever-flowing waterfall. As I ponder, someone suddenly grabs my wrist. Ayumino, you're awake! Randall? Yeah, it's me. I'm glad you're okay. Huh? You don't remember? You fainted after the purification. I fainted? We were talking about the impurities and the Aikiyashis. Aikiyashis. And then I lost consciousness. Wake up no matter how many times I yelled your name. I was worried. Really? Yeah. I've been... I've been here the whole time. In case you woke up. In case you wake up. Randall looks a little embarrassed. He looks away and scratches his head. That makes me so happy to hear. So, um, is there anything you need? Aren't you hungry? I'll get you something to eat. <laughs> what? Huh? There was another line I missed. How'd that happen? Fudge! I'm sorry, guys. distracted me. <laughs> uh, well, that's enough for today. I'm Jenny the Arts and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.